Hi, it's Tina today, and I have the first tutorial for the month of November, and I'm going to show you uh, one of my pages from the Art Journal Coloring Book. Um, so that that actually was my first experiment page, but I'm going to use the same technique on um, this page right here. So what I'm going to use is some distress paint. These weren't in the kit. These were actually from my stash. And I'm going to go ahead and put several colors on my craft mat. And what I'm trying to do here is I'm going to go for like a watered colored um, look on the background of my art journal page and you'll see uh, what I mean um, here in a few minutes. So I'm just um, dabbing some of the paint on my craft mat and I'm going to go ahead and spritz it with water. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my art journal page and I'm just going to kind of smear it through the paint right on the craft mat. And the colors will blend together and you can see that that um, they're blending together on my paper and I'm just going to go through the places that I've missed on the page with the different colors and you can see it's picking up different colors of the distress paint depending on where I um, rub it through on the craft mat. So I'm going to go ahead and actually add some more paint. Um, I didn't put quite enough on my craft mat so I wanted a little bit more coverage on my art journal coloring book. Um, what I'm going to try to do here is um, do kind of a reverse effect. So I want this marbly kind of retro looking um, background on my flowers and I'm going to paint around the outside of those with just some black distress paint. So I'm doing the same thing. I just put some on my craft mat, spritzed it down with some water, and I'm going to rub my craft or my um, page through the paint. And you just keep doing that and dabbing it until you get the colors um, that you want. And then also I'm spritzing down the page itself because then that will actually blend that distressed paint together as well. So now what I'm doing is I want some subtle water droplets on my um, art journal page so what you saw me doing there was just spritz some water into the palm of my hand and then I flicked it onto the page and when that dries you'll see the different um, water droplet effects on the art journal page. And I'm just adding different colors to it. Um, you saw me add some yellow. I wanted more of the yellow. Now I'm adding some more of the blue. And then I'm flicking that water on it again. So when it dries, and it's really hard to pick up um, on the video, but you can see it on the close-ups of the project. When it dries, it creates a really cool water effect. So I just dried it with my heat tool. Um, and I was just kind of pointing out where some of those water droplets are. So now what I'm going to do is just take some of the black soot distress paint. Um, and then I'm just going to go on the outside of the flower. So the only color that is left is actually on the flower itself. So I'm just adding some to my craft mat. And I'm just going to grab a paintbrush. And I'm going to go ahead and start outlining um, around the flowers. So I'm really just putting the black in the background. And the thing that's nice about the distress paint, um, it is transparent. So you can see on here, I've, I have finished going around the entire, all of the flowers, but you can still see the background in it. And I really liked that. I like that transparent look from the distress paints. So now what I'm going to do, I just have my doodling pen and I'm going to go ahead and outline all of the line work. Uh, this took a little bit of time, but I really like the look of it. So I'm just outlining each flower to define that line again. So the flowers really pop off the page. And then once I was done with that, I went ahead and took my uh, souffle pen and I highlighted certain areas with the souffle pen. And then I wrote journaling around the outside of my art journal page and that was it. So that was the other one that I created, just a different color background, but I can do the same thing with it. 
And that is it for my tutorial today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.